hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in once again to my returning subscribers i hope you're all doing great today and to those who are new here my name is mc i'm into luxury fashion lifestyle beauty and if you like this kind of topics then you might want to subscribe don't forget to turn that red bell on for new videos without further ado let's just go ahead and start Today, I'm going to make a review of this necklace right here. It's been nine months already since I purchased this necklace. The Cartier D'Amour large model in 18 karat yellow gold set with a brilliant cut diamond tussling 0.18 karat. It has a pattern diameter of 5.48 mm and the chain length is 380 to 410 mm. Why? because it's adjustable so you have the option to wear it at 380 mm or 410 mm so that's the shortest and longest chain setting and it comes in three sizes and colors they have white gold uh, yellow gold and pink gold and the sizes are extra small small and large so the small is equivalent to medium so here it is guys i took it off because i wanted to see it up close i'm a little bit far from the camera so it's better this way now this is the front and of course the back as i mentioned uh, earlier mine is in the large model and yellow gold this necklace is from the cartiers uh, the Amour collection and they used to call it Diamant Leger before they changed the name I don't know why I don't have any information but in my opinion it's just an opinion <laughs> They did that because many people are having a hard time pronouncing the name which is really hard for me as well i like the new name so much better so i'm glad they changed it to the amour anyway the cartier the amour is a round delicate collection based on a reinterpretation of a 1938 model wow 1938 that was too old and the sparkle of each diamond in its closed setting is enhanced by the micro pavade belts or we call it bezel the metal around the diamond that encircles it i mentioned before when i did the unboxing if you haven't watched that video i'm going to put the link in the description box below for your convenience and if you are interested i mentioned also in that video that it took me a long time to decide to buy this because of the detail my sa told me when i asked her if the diamond or the stone is a solitaire or single piece because i have doubts that it is an illusion and i was right it's actually an illusion so it looks like a big one piece of diamond but it's not it's actually made of a cluster of smaller diamonds and cleverly crafted metal which is the bezel that we all know in a little while i'm going to share with you my final thoughts about this piece and of course my recommendation whether you should buy one or not First, let me show you quickly what comes with the necklace. So this is the Cartier red box. It's just a normal one but hard. And when you open it, you see another red box, which is the infamous Cartier red box with gold trimmings around. And you open it like so. So you'll see the, the Amor necklace. It also comes with a certificate of authenticity, which is in this white envelope. I'm not sure if you can see the label, but it says there Cartier certificate or certificate with receipts, of course. This is the certificate. There's a difference between the certificate of authenticity of the Cartier Love versus the D'Amour and the Justin Clue. When you buy a Love jewelry, there will be a Love written or printed in the envelope, whereas the Justin Clue and the Amour, I'm not sure with other jewelries they have, if they also have the collection uh, printed. But this one, there's none, so that's the difference I, I can see they will also give you a cleaning kit with a little booklet a solution and a piece of cloth as well as a soft brush you can also get if they have 
here in the Philippines, if you don't ask, you will not receive. There's also a design jewelry pouch for this necklace, but they didn't give me. Instead, they gave me the ordinary one. I'm going to show the picture, and I'm sure I have already shown that in the past video when I did the unboxing. Cleaning kits and pouches. It depends on the country where you live because where I am from, the stocks are always limited. Even cleaning kits are given only when the jewelry you purchase are with diamonds. And like in other countries where HP is automatically comes with these things, you know. So this pouch right here is where I store this necklace and it's also great for travel. So let's talk about the details of this piece. I do love the look of this necklace. It is simple, dainty, and shiny. Not only the diamond, but the chain as well. It's really, really shiny. The diamond is so sparkly that they call it spotlight. It is perfect for everyday and great for layering as well. I can't actually remember taking it off my neck even once i've worn it to death every day everywhere anywhere everywhere i wear this in the shower to the beach i also wear this even on special occasions i just layer it with some formal or special necklaces you know just to kind of elevate the look I don't see wear and tear yet. Sometimes the chain will look dull because of oil and creams, but when you wash it with just a soap and water while you shower, of course, it will go back to its original luster. I don't have to worry about scratches because this is already thin and tiny as it is. Unlike my Cartier Love necklace with three diamonds, which is very prone to scratches because of the design and the flat surface it has, I like to wear this more as my everyday jewelry than that uh, simply because of that reason one more thing i love is the only unique feature it has in the back it has a charm with the cartier logo and i just think it's really beautiful when you tie your hair up it's really visible another pro for this piece is the chain the chain is adjustable you can adjust it to shortest length or setting which is around 15 like a choker or to a longer setting which is a little bit over 16 inches i prefer the shortest since i love to layer i like to wear two to three necklaces at a time now for the cons this flips around too much especially when worn in the shortest length i think it's because the clasp charm is heavy than the front or pendant and another reason it flips i believe is because the pendant is connected to the chain so when the chain moves or flips the pendant rotates as well it rotates with it so what happens is you'll find yourself switching the diamond and charm than any other regular necklaces or you'll move the chain to make sure the diamond is always in place and number two con is the chain is so thin and if you're not really careful about it it may break we don't want it to happen you know when the chain is broken you can have it repaired of course but the strength will no longer be the same as the original so that's another con and number three is it's going to get tangled if you stack it or layer it with other necklaces with thin chain it's best to combine it with thicker necklaces to minimize jumbling but if you are not a fan of layering thick with thin ones I have the technique for that and I'm going to show you next video if you like but the major con is the price the price along with the size of the diamond I know that's the number one reason why sometimes people is having a hard time deciding whether they should buy this or not I bought this for 137,000 uh, 280 pesos but now it has increased already in just how many months I actually forgot the new price for this but they have in the website and uh, plus tax of course it's just a simple and regular looking necklace so I don't recommend it buying from Cartier. You can opt to buy from non-luxury brands of half the price with bigger diamond and thicker chain. We all know that Cartier is a luxury brand but if you love the brand of course by all means go for it. I love Cartier so I prefer to buy from them. You can also ask your jeweler to customize one for you at a cheaper price. 
with the same quality and materials it will save you a lot of money remember that this is an illusion setting it is supposed to uh, be inexpensive but Cartier is Cartier and we are paying for its historical significance prestige and craftsmanship so it's up to you to decide so that's it for today's topic and i hope the video will help you decide if you are eyeing for this piece if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe ring that bell for new videos i'll see you in my next one bye